So today we're going to be bringing this Stratocaster back to life with some grungy goodness with the help of a Staffordshire Bull Terrier and a French Bulldog. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while since I've posted a video about this. I've been struggling getting in the main cave because my other half is off work due to COVID. She's taken over that as a, a makeshift workplace. I've got two dogs to look after, two kids to look after. I haven't had much time, so we're gonna try and crack on with it today. Um, so this is a 1998 Squire Stratocaster, finished in Olympic white. I bought this used for 50 quid. And I think it's the perfect candidate for a budget Kurt Cobain guitar if you can't afford them new Jagstangs that are coming out and the Kurt Cobain Mustangs and Jaguars. Kurt Cobain also used Strax a lot. The white one he used on the MTV Award show in 1992. So it's a, definitely a grungy type guitar. And this is beat up, got loads of dings and chips and looks very cool and grungy. In my previous video I said I wanted to put a hot rail in a bridge position. And I asked what you guys thought I should do and the consensus was from you guys was to stick a, a budget hot rail in that cost less than a guitar. So I went for a Warman hot rail pickup. This is a Loco. These are about £20 brand new delivered and that should fit in there quite nicely. It's quite simple. The green is the hot, the black and the braided is the ground and then the red and the white you use that for cool splitting but I'm not going to do it on this one and we'll just take them up leave them to the side. So basically we just got wiring a couple of wires, obviously take the old one out, put the new one in and we should be good to go. So this is going to be my new go-to guitar that will be in a lot of videos. I will do more mods to this. I've got a new bridge to put on it. Um, I'm going to clean it all up for now, clean the fingerboard, clean the frets just to make it play a bit nicer. Put some new strings on it and then we'll check out that warming hot rail pickup and get some grungy sounds. Right so first job we're going to get this pick guard off. So that's the pick guard loosened off. Let's flip her over. Oh, have we got much room? Have we got much wiggle room? Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's a loose spring in there. Ah, so somebody's played about with this before. You having a good sniff there, buddy? Okay, so it looks like that pot's been changed for some reason. Uh, a bit of messy wiring. So all the original pickups by the looks of it. Um, not sure if that's the original selector switch. It does feel like a nice one, but uh, I have seen this style before on the um, squires of this era. Actually, looks like the original. Yeah. So Chinese. Squires generally have these large pots, so I believe they're the original. This one's probably been changed out. Um, the, the soldering's a bit crude on that. It's actually not the best on any of them, so... I don't know. Maybe it's had a hot rail in at some point. Um, still got the original cap on. So That's got like some sort of rubber... Don't even know what that is, but yeah, that's not original. It's got the original rubber bushings. Uh, yeah, so somebody's played about it. Maybe it's had a hot rail in there before at some point. So what we're going to do today, we're going to keep it nice and grunge. From what I've read in the past with uh, Kurt Cobain's guitar tech, Ernie Bailey, they never used to swap the pots out because they thought Kurt was just going to smash the guitars up, so they just used a sticker hot rail in straight on the original pot so for now we'll go with that grungy route but we'll do some more modding videos on this later down the line and we'll chop chop out the pots i've got a new output jack and a bridge to put in um, but for now we're just going to put that hot rail straight on so the hot goes to that lug there and then the ground just goes to the top of the pot we'll tidy this up a little bit and uh yeah, it should be quite an easy swap over. So what I'll do now is 
take out that pickup. And the pathetically thin hot and ground for the output jacks broken off, so we might as well just change that anyway. I've got a better one to put on. So we'll do that now. Yeah. That wiring is a waste of time. So we won't be using that one again. Okay, so I'm gonna go and get my soldering iron and tidy all this up and wire that all back in. I'll just size it up. Possibly might need to do some modifications to the pick guard. I need to just open it up a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit wider. So I'm probably just gonna have to square this pick guard off a little bit just to get that in. Oh, good. Right. Yeah, so I'll shave a little bit of that off with a, a Dremel. Alright, so first thing I better do actually while I've got all this apart is clean the fingerboard and the fret. So I'm just going over with some sensitive baby wipes. I've got no perfume or anything in them. Just get rid of all the dirt off the fingerboard. And then we'll go over the frets with a, a sponge sanding block, sort of fine grade. We'll go over the frets lightly and the edge of the fingerboard to smooth out the frets and round over the, um, the edge there just to make it nicer to play. And then we'll Finish it off with some lemon oil to nourish the fingerboard. You definitely get a lot of schmuck out with the baby wipes. Oh no, Maggie, you want to be on camera? Yeah, buddy. Puppies, I've really got stuff to do. I've really got stuff to do. Wood screw. 